What if you could wear the skin of your favorite celebrity? Fashion designer Tina Gorjank has a scheme to do just that, and it leans more on synthetic biology than basement pits and lotion baskets. Gorjank's project at London's Central St. Martin's Fashion School revolves around the creation of a very special sort of leather. Instead of harvesting it from a cow or other non-human animal, she plans to grow the skin of deceased fashion designer Alexander McQueen and make it into handbags and jackets, flesh-colored items that will feature McQueen's distinguishing marks and tattoos. The starting point for this grisly glam fashion venture is a sample of McQueen's own hair, used in his 1992 silk coat titled Jack the Ripper Stalks His Victims. See, he probably would have dug the project. The DNA will be manipulated and grown out into skin, tanned, and finally processed into human leather. The technology here emerges from the realm of synthetic biology, an exciting area of biotechnology that has already led to the creation of lab-grown skin grafts and synthetic organs. The ultimate possibilities are truly transhumanist in nature, entailing everything from engineered disease immunity to enhanced longevity. But cutting-edge science sometimes outpaces our ability to understand all the ramifications, and that's where art enters the picture. Gorjank hopes to push the notion of sustainable, slaughter-free, lab-grown leather, but the project is also about the lack of rights concerning our own genetic information. See, the project here is unapproved by either McQueen's family or fashion brand. She snagged the DNA from a hair sample and has already filed a patent for the resulting leather material based on its singular source and creation process. As bioethicist Glenn Cohen pointed out on the website Quartz, the UK and United States afford little or no ownership protection to abandoned tissues. A wizard can come along, stuff a voodoo doll full of your hair clippings, and there's nothing you can do about it. The same potentially goes for real-world cloning and synthetic tissue growth. We're drifting into largely uncharted legal waters here, at least as far as luxury items made from dead celebrities go. So while the fun question here is, hey, which Oscar winner would you wear as a pair of slacks, the more pressing issue is who owns your genetic information, and how much privacy can you expect concerning all the scraps of discarded hair and skin you leave in your wake each day. Let us know what you think, and if you crave even more weird science wonders, be sure to check out now.howstuffworks.com each and every day.